Okay, and now I am going to test that how this my car starts when I... let's go to test. And now no any starting. Engine no any engine runs. Only starter runs and rotates this engine. Okay, and what to do then? Okay, and then I am planning to show that how to replace this distributor distributor package and this cap and all parts in there. And then I continue my job. Okay, and when I am planning to take out and open these parts, first part is to take uh, out a little bit these extra items and now it's good to take out this uh, this air filter cover and I open that air filter cover the first one and two these metallic clamps and then there's this connector that I open and then I can lift up this cover and, and carefully open these parts I move that in this position and then I take this cable and now, now we have more space in that area and in here we can look that now it's much better to work in here okay and then then I open these two connectors in here and these connectors when I am taking these connectors cables out we can take a little bit better view there are that connector this connector and then that one and opening happens so that I press that area and same time pull out like in that way this press and then pull out in this way and it opens the same idea in here press and pull out okay and now these cables are free good and then I can open these bolts in here next okay and then I need to open in here three one two and three bolts and I have in here this example example part what I am planning to do I have in like in here this reserve part that we can see that what I am planning to do and this my system is in that position and now there is one two and three these holes where is that kind of small small screw and and for that opening I need now this eight millimeter socket what fits in here that I can open this bolt and then also small wrench okay and this is like in example and then I start to then I start to open this and first I take this upper upper part in this one in here open and I insert my tool in that kind of position and it's there nicely and look I have a little bit longer bar there is this 8, eight millimeter socket and extra bar and wrench Okay, and then, then I open this bolt. In that, this is the opening direction. In that, this way, start, end. This is rotation, is like in that way. And then, then I take my smaller part and I can rotate this bolt away, <coughs> away using my hands. Okay, and there is this first bolt, it looks like that, 
and centers second similar it is in here down in this area and look when this is Toyota car these parts are easy to open there is always space and in that way I open and bolts open very easily now I rotate my tool and then I can also use my fingers and soon this and there is second bolt and then we have one final bolt its location is a little bit in here deeper that side and now is my tool it is in position and then I only, then I only open it and that area is a little bit more difficult place so now I manage now I manage to rotate Okay, now it's open and in same same step there was this final final bolt and in same step when I took that bolt away this cover opens normally it opens in that way but sometimes if it is stuck we only move that and now this part is free okay and there is then this my distributor this distributor cover this it looks like that okay good and then we can go to check that what is my this distributor cover status okay and then i am showing that how we can test that what is our this distributor cover status that is this okay or not and there is situation that first when there are those spark plug cables that we have to investigate that outer area outer area and there must be situation that no any cracks and leaks I have a small crack in here but it is in outer area it is not so bad but then when we look in here inner area there we have more interesting thing and that's that's I need a little bit more light and then when we look in the inner area we must have some we, we have to check all of those one one two three four five six of those electric connector those sides that are they okay and I start in that place and this place must be without any corrosion and no too much burn out this is okay and then the central point it looks also okay and then when I look that side this is full of corrosion and this this is like bad because now there is no this right electric and electricity movement and then second of this and these parts goes to directly in spark plugs and that's it is really bad and this means that now this 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 uh, thing explains and tells to me that that why I have so weak spark in my spark plugs because there is corrosion it is like rust and that sec second is also bad and then third one there is also corrosion and it is weak then I scratch little okay and even there is one some parts they are moving in out 
And there is so much something scrap in here that I can. It is and this corrosion. What is in here? This is bad. This makes my sparks small and weak. And then final part is in here. And then also this corrosion burn out this my distributor, these metallic bars. And that's I need to replace this cover. And I have now situation that I have in here one spare part cover that I can check that that is this better that one and this is like also and when we compare in their inner area I can right away see that these metallic bars what takes contact to spark plugs they are much much better there is not so much this corrosion there is a little bit burn out but not too much and then and when, when we compare these parts we can right away see that that in in this one this metallic parts there is much much more this metallic material than this my current one and there is and then there's also this interesting when I move that look it is totally rusty then I move that big part of this material burn out it is in here and this is not nice because that kind of corrosion what is in my hand this this is like this this is not working this is like rusty corrosion and it is in this ground I can insert my I can crush this it is like sand and this is not good and there is another and then when this is like old one and in this new one then I check there is no that kind of hard corrosion this these metallic things are hard okay and if this if this parts burn out really much then we have difficulties to get big sparks to our spark plugs okay and that's that's I need to dismiss and react that distribution cap and and next I need to also move these cables in here and I will do that next okay and then of then my next task is to take this distribu distributor cover out and for that job I need uh, one socket and friends now this size is it's, it's 12 millimeter 12 millimeter and I take my tool in here and this my tool is like one two like 12 millimeter and then wrench that I can open and there is really two bolts there is first one what we can see there is this first bolt what I need to open and first I open this bolt and this is like opening direction start end and that they rotate and now it moves nicely and I can use my hand and that way I rotate Now there is bolt in my hand. And this is there is similar one bolt in this way. And then I take second and second is a little bit more difficult place. It is is another side. I need to insert this my tool in here. 
and there's just base look. Now when we look at that position, I need to little bit move that we can see that it is it is little bit in there's this my tool and it goes in directly directly in in here and there's my socket and in the, now and there we can see that there is this bolt it is in here that bolt and now I take my tool and I insert my tool in such it goes directly in this down area there's nice 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 hole and it goes directly in this bolt look and then I start to open then I start to open that my my bolt there's this direction and now I am opening in that way and now I take a little bit better view we can check that when I am opening that okay now, now, I, now I open and now now I can take this my wrench part away and then I can then I can rotate this final part of this this away. Good and soon, soon this bolt is free, and it is easy to open when this air filter is away. Okay, and so soon I go. okay, and there is this bolt. Excellent, and now both bolts are free. Okay, and now when all bolts are free, I can do. This, I can take this distributor away and in that step it's good to do so that, that when, when this distributor it must be in one position it is good that we do some markings in here that we remember that in what position this distributor must be and for that purpose we, we should to have some Pencil, what makes, marks, writes every surface. And here I have solid marker. This is like Japanese pencil. And when I rotate that, this yellow color comes out. And this is really excellent color. And we can purchase these solid markers in eBay, eBay.com. And now when I this even marks in oily surface. And now, uh, sorry, now, now, I, now I do marking in here, but this line in here, that area, it must be in this area. Now I remember that this yellow area in here, with position is this one. Okay, and now it's like, it helps to me install this part back in same, same side, and then when I little bit move that, I can pull out this my this my distributor. Okay, and there it is. And then we go to look that closer. 